Hello everyone, my name is Thomas Novak and I'm currently doing my PhD within the TerraApps project funded by the European Union. My research focuses on advanced terahertz imaging systems, which I want to realize by employing metamaterial optics. I'm originally from a small town called Passau in the southeast of Germany. So far, I've pursued my studies in Würzburg, Dresden and Leuven. Now, I get to enjoy the beautiful Scottish weather in Glasgow, which helps me very much staying long hours in the lab. The first question I usually get asked regarding my research is, what is terahertz imaging and what can you do with it? First of all, terahertz refers to a spectral region of electromagnetic radiation situated between microwaves and infrared. This type of radiation offers a wide range of unique physical properties, especially for imaging. First, the energy of terahertz radiation is fairly low. Second, many common packaging materials are mostly transparent to terahertz radiation. Third, many chemicals and molecules show characteristic absorption in this region. And fourth, most matter emits terahertz radiation at room temperature. Now let us have a look how we can exploit these properties within useful applications. First, the low energy of terahertz radiation means that it is biocompatible, so it does not harm humans or damage sensitive samples. In fact, terahertz imaging is actively researched for skin cancer detection and biomedical imaging. Second, the high transparency and resolution enables an application in non-destructive testing and for quality assurance. The combination with biocompatibility allows for security imaging, for example at airport. Third, the characteristic absorption can be exploited to extend spectroscopic capabilities, especially for the detection of drugs and explosives. And fourth, the fact that most matter emits terahertz, even at low temperatures, is used to complement astronomy. Most famously, the first ever picture of a black hole was obtained in the terahertz spectrum. So what do we need to realize these applications? First of all, we need a terahertz source that illuminates our object. For this, I am using an optically pumped molecular laser, which is among the more powerful and extensive terahertz sources. Second component you need is a camera that is sensitive to your radiation. Several colleagues, as well as our partner T-Hive, are working on improving the state of the art. Most importantly, we need beam forming and analyzing optics to effectively image the sample and retrieve information. We can see on the left side a parabolic mirror which can only be used in reflection and is difficult to align. In the middle, we see bulk optics made from polymers, for example, TPX or from silicon, which take up a lot of space and are often of suboptimal quality with high reflective losses. In comparison to that, you can see on the right side metamaterial optics, which is very compact, basically just a thin patterned layer on a slice of silicon. <clears throat> Especially more sophisticated setups require many optical components, which each introduce losses due to reflection and alignment and often suffer from standing waves. Through clever design, metasurfaces can drastically improve this situation. So what are metasurfaces? A metasurface is basically a two-dimensional array of dielectric pillars with dimensions smaller than the operational wavelength. The transmitted light is hereby confined inside each individual pillar and modulated according to the pillar diameter or width. After the pillar, the optical response is formed via interference from neighboring pillars. This results in several big advantages of metasurfaces. Since the light is confined inside each pillar, we can locally encode arbitrary optical functions post by post with unprecedented resolution. Furthermore, we can simulate the optical response of each post and their interference very accurately. A two-dimensional pattern can be designed on a computer and manufactured with extreme accuracy using photolithography. This typically results in high efficiency and allows us to encode several optical functions into a single layer. Beyond this, metasurfaces are just starting to reveal their potential for the manipulation of light with new effects discovered every month. So by using this approach, I aim to contribute 
improved beamforming and analyzing optics operating at terahertz frequencies. I want to combine multiple optical functions in a single meter surface and thereby reduce amount of components and space needed for imaging. This will improve the efficiency of the whole imaging system. But beyond that, I want to design imaging optics that allows for completely new imaging modes and uh, for gaining additional information on the image sample. For example, polarization dependent imaging or 3D uh, three dimensional imaging. Hopefully, I will also be able to demonstrate system level terahertz imaging for industrially viable applications with our partner organizations. And of course, just like every PhD student, I should publish my findings in journals and present them at conferences and maybe even file for a patent. So thank you very much for your attention and please feel free to contact me if you have any remaining questions.